So the next topic in module eight that we cover is authority and expert. If you remember back to the previous module on personal branding, what we wanted to do is really set you up and have what people think about you to really be aligned to a particular topic or area of expertise that people basically think you're really good at. So what we're looking to do, and it's based on this, is set you up as being seen as an authority or an expert on a topic. So if you are a social media expert, what we want to do is have the world think that you're a social media expert. There are different ways and means to do this, and one of the best ones is to talk about the topic, talk about why you're passionate about the topic, add value to what you talk about, and really be seen as an authority or an expert on a particular thing. There are lots of different ways that we can do this, and again, social media is a fantastic way to do that, but then likewise, use blogs, use written audio, do video, and again, aligning to all of the things that we've said in the past on communication, use all of the tools to really help build your brand in the marketplace and actually have people see you as being an expert on a particular topic which aligns to your passion and your mission. One of the interesting things about this topic is that if people see you as being an authority or an expert on a particular topic, they actually trust you more, but interestingly, they also trust you more across almost any topic. In the UK, one of the things which I've seen recently is that the Liverpool FC manager, a guy called Jurgen Klopp, obviously is extremely knowledgeable on football and people like him and they trust him. But actually in the British media, people have started to ask his opinion on politics and Brexit and lots of other things. And it's because they like him, they trust him, they see him as an authority or an expert. And actually once you have that trust in a particular area, people will actually trust you more in all areas of your life. And what I wanted to do is just reinforce the earlier point from personal and professional branding, that actually what we want to do is find you a niche, find something that you're really good at, and then tell people, and actually it will genuinely help your business strategy or your career prospects. Because if people are looking for a new marketing director and they think that you're an expert in marketing, you're a lot more likely to be offered the job. And that again comes down to your brand, what you tell the world, and actually how that aligns to where you want to get to in your aims, goals, and ambitions, and making sure that we do all of the groundwork beneath that to really help you achieve your goal.